Assessment has been uh, a real challenge to second language education in the last decade, and many new ideas have evolved. One of which has been the use of the European language portfolio and the passport and how we might adapt it in North America, in Canada and specifically to our local region. Mm -hmm. I know that you've been involved in teacher education and you've been doing some work with that and that one uh, article in particular really triggered some creative ideas and I wonder if you could tell us about that article and then some of the ideas. Well, the, the article that I ran into is from Laplante and Christensen, and it's called A Touch of Class, and also Portfolio Langagier Francais. It was published in 2001, and basically, uh, it was the basis upon which I, I uh, the, uh, uh, taught the course. I won't say totally developed it on my own, because I inherited part of an outline from someone else. So anyway, uh, what, um, what I found interesting is that Laplante and Christensen from the University of Regina did an experiment, basically, in the classroom. They wanted to uh, assist future teachers, student teachers, in um, pursuing the development of language competencies. They were mostly focused on second language teachers, including French immersion and Africa. And so uh, they thought of having them develop, elaborate a portfolio. And when I looked at the data, I saw 2001, and that was even before all the talk about uh, Le Conseil de l'Europe and Le Cadre Européen de Langue and Le Portfolio uh, Européen de Langue. And so I thought, oh, okay, well, how did they go about doing this and, and why? So it was really to um, push students to become more autonomous in their second language acquisition. They asked a number of students to um, develop a portfolio that would um, uh, include uh, the, these components. The first one, they called Ma vie en français jusqu'à maintenant. Okay. So they, they asked the, the students to write a, like a two-page narrative mm -hmm. on uh, which language, which second language or first language also they spoke, or, or not just spoke, but you know, read or, or uh, wrote in or, uh, their language competencies. Used in any way. Yeah, exactly. Yes. And, yes. And any type of language acquisition and use that they had. Uh, so, so they wanted them to write a, a, a little narrative to take stock. Okay, mm -hmm. what languages do I teach? Uh, where did I learn them? How did I learn them? Mm -hmm. Where what have I the, used them? Yeah, what were the obstacles uh, that hindered me from pursuing it or, or uh, speaking it or writing it or whatever as well as I would like to. And uh, so that was the first part. And then, and it was uh, within a one year period. And then the second component that they thought they would use is called an action plan, le plan d'action. And in it, the students were asked to identify their weaknesses, their strengths, to uh, set uh, new goals mm -hmm. as to where they wanted to be on the language acquisition continuum, let's okay. say. Uh, and uh, as well as how, the means by which they were going mm -hmm. to get there. Right. And it had to be something concrete. Mm -hmm. So that was the second part. So the first was the narrative, the second the action plan, the third is what they call authentic documents uh, related to uh, ex language experiences that they lived in the classroom setting. Mm -hmm. So within the classroom, anything that they would have done in school throughout the years. And it could be uh, some past history, like from grade six, or it could be what they were doing currently. And the idea was to show um, changes or progress or mm -hmm. lack of progress or regression over the years. And then uh, the um, fourth component 
was the same type of documentation uh, that would sub, uh, that would show evidence of um, uh, language experiences lived, acquired outside of the classroom, mm. through cultural exchanges, through uh, correspondence with pen pals, through um, memberships and clubs, mm -hmm. in uh, it could be uh, coupons or from going to a cinema to see a French play, uh, to be um, to. Uh, receive a French paper, whether it a newspaper, yeah, from subscription, Europe, yeah. Yeah, or, yeah, or Quebec, or wherever, or even Alberta, with Le Franco and, and otherwise. So that was the fourth component. And the fifth and last component was another little narrative, mm -hmm. two pages maybe, that would say, okay, after this year, or this term, I'm not sure, they said it was wisdom the year the year. Um, well, um, how did I live this whole experience of the portfolio? Mm. And to see if it was worthwhile for them. Okay. And so, and I thought, oh, that's interesting because they're working with future student teachers. They're, they're, they're wanting to improve. They still have time to do something mm -hmm. about it before they reach their own class, right? They just became more conscious of uh, where they were at, number one. They were um, better able to identify what they did well and uh, where they wanted to be so they had to set goals. And, um, it, and it, it was also encouraging because it was, as I was saying earlier, Candace Day said, I can do this, I can do that. Maybe I can't do this other thing yet, but I still can do this. It gave them the encouragement and the belief that maybe it would be possible. Yeah.